What's going on, slot car family? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we got this box. What's in the box? Well, it's a 2024 Carrera release. I'm quite excited about this one. So let's unbox this, see what car it is. Or you know we're gonna send it around the track and see what it can do. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here we are, it's a 2024 Carrera release car. The first one I got my hands on for the year. I'm quite excited about this one. It was on my radar for the ones I wanted to get for the year. I'm quite excited about this one. Oh, wow, that looks even better in person. Amazing. I know it's on a Ferrari, but I love my Porsches as well, especially this Golf livery. That looks amazing. The beauty of a car. There's the driver's names up there. You got Mike, Ben, and Alex. Beauty. I noticed that they do this for now, Carrera, on the outside of the packaging. It's different. Okay, let's open this up. The paint, as expected, spot on by Carrera. You can rarely find any flaws on their cars. Their cars always look amazing. Very good quality control, I have to say, compared to some other brands. Car just looks perfect, in my opinion. Here she is, free from her cage. It's a Carrera Digital, obviously. Very nice, you got the tow hook there, all the sponsors. I mean, these 911s just look awesome. I love the bodies on these. And they're quick runners out of the box with the stock rubber. These have always been quick, at least in my experience. And on my track, it's a good match. All my Carrera uh, Porsche 911s, RSRs run really well on my track. So I expect this to be competitive out of the box with the stock rubber, untrued. These are quick. It's weird that they have the Dunlop decal there, but on the tires, they still have Carrera. It is what it is. I know a lot of people have flipped these around just to not have the Carrera badging exposed, but I don't mind it. Half the time I change the back tires anyway. But yeah, the car looks great. There's an interior, nicely detailed as always. It's a great looking car. I love my golf liveries. Now I have a couple RSRs from over the years. And like I said, each and every single one of these, so far these four have been quick, right out of the box without doing anything. I do have upgraded tires as well. And it just makes them even quicker, so. Yeah, these things are monsters out of the box. So I'm curious to see how this does. And we're gonna do that now, but after some cinematic time. And on my second flying lap, I already made a mistake. So now I'm gonna have to collect myself and try to regroup and come up with some good laps here. Let's see what I can manage. 
Defense's move. On the final lap here, and we're going purple in sector one. Sector two, we don't improve, and to the line, and it's an improvement. We improve on the last lap there, best lap of a 6.631. Now, in terms of my Porsche RSRs, it's a little bit slower than what I expected for stock. It's a little bit more squirmy. This is the quickest time I've done with one of these cars, a 5.5 with pole gauge tires. But that car is like an anomaly. It's much quicker than any of my other RSRs. It also has a lot of running on it. So what I'm doing now is I took the pole gauge off this car, as you already can see, and I slapped them on this bad boy. And we're gonna see what kind of lap times we can do with pole gauge on this little beast. Two, one, go. And on the second lap, we already beat what we did on the stock tires with a 6.1. Let's see what else we can manage. Another improvement on that lap, but still in the 6.1s. Let's see if we could break into the fives. So 6.0, we're getting close here. I think this car has a 5.9 in it. So the line and 5.9, there it is. Can we get any better? Here we get in the 5.8s. I messed up on this lap. I don't think so, and it's not. It's a 5.989, decent improvement. A look at uh, the leaderboard. I filtered it for the GT3s here. So 5.5, that thing is just an anomaly. So much quicker than the rest of them. 5.9 for the one in second. The Golf livery, another 5.9. 6.0 for the Pink Pig. So most of them are very close. And the other one's also in the 6.0s. This also made me realize I didn't run a lot of my GT3s. I only have 10 classified. So clearly I have to run more GT3s on this layout. This was still a fast car out of the box, considering. And then once you slap on the pole gauge tires, it got a heck of a lot quicker. It's still nowhere near the quickest RSR I have with these uh, tires. That's also because this car is brand new. That This one right here, this has a lot of running on it. So it's really, really well broken in, opposed to this guy that just has maybe 30 laps on it as of now. But yeah, the RSRs are always one of my favorites. The look and the way they drive. And this one in general, Golf livery, you can't go wrong. I really love the Golf livery cars, and this is no exception. It's just a really well-made car. I mean, I said it at the beginning of the video, Carrera does a very good job, and I think you all know that on their cars. It just looks, looks perfect. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and lapping video. If you did, please smash that like button. It really helps out the channel, and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. This has been NP Slot Car, I'm Massimo, and I will catch you all in the next one. Remember, keep your guide in the slot. Take care. Ciao.